Hey guys, this is Christy with Vegan Food for Thought and I wanted to share a granola recipe that I had. Um, you could make it like, you can change it up and stuff, but um, this is just the type of granola that I've been making lately. Um, yeah, and I've been, I've still been around um, and I've still been vegan <laughs> this whole time. I know I haven't posted in a while, but um, yeah, I just wanted to share this recipe because it's kid friendly and it's really good. Um, so here it is. <laughs> There's, I, I ate some already, but anyway, um, it's really easy to make this stuff. Um, and as you can see, I put probably more fruit in it than I did like yogurt or granola. <laughs> That's my favorite way to eat it is with like tons of like strawberries or berries or any of that. But anyway, the recipe is, um, let's see. So I start with, uh, about a half a cup of peanut butter. And then I mix that with about a third a cup of maple syrup and then like one teaspoon of vanilla extract and about um, a quarter to a half, depending on how much cinnamon you like. Um, I put about a half a teaspoon of um, cinnamon and cardamom in there. And pretty much just as much as I could get in there. Like, I really like that stuff, but you can add more or less of that. Um, but yeah, those are, and then, oh, and then I added hemp seeds. I did about a third a cup of hemp seeds in there and just mixed it all together. Um, and then I added, it was two cups of oats into it. And you just mix all that together. Um, and then I added, let's see, there's dates also. But um, first I bake the, the mixture, the granola mixture, because the uh, last time I put in the dates and they, if you bake them, they kind of get too dried out. So anyway, um, bake the granola at 350 for about 25 minutes and just, yeah, until it's about golden brown and got a little crunch to it. And then I just finely chopped like about a three quarters of a cup of dates as small as I could and then just added those in and that's my granola, it's really good. I put in, there's some almond yogurt in there, and yeah, I had to share it. <laughs> I figured I couldn't not post it. Um, yeah, yeah. So, oh, the other thing was that I was thinking next time I would probably, I would want to try, like, some orange zest in this. I would do all the same spices and then orange zest and maybe like some ginger, a little bit of either ginger powder or really finely chopped like minced ginger into it. And that would probably be pretty good too. You can, you could change it up. You could add whatever you want really. And the cardamom is definitely optional because that one's a harder spice to find. But yeah, that is um, what I've been enjoying lately for breakfast <laughs> when I don't feel like as much fruit and stuff, the usual, but yeah, normally I just have a smoothie. <laughs>